yeah hello dear students myself purushottam k prabhu faculty in chemistry well i am here to teach a most fabulous and the most important chapter of 12th standard which is called as chemical kinetics guys before going into the detailed discussion of this chapter let us understand the examination pattern marks allotment of your board exam as well as your entrance exams if you consider karnataka board exam this chapter is for 7 marks and if you want to have the scheme of examination pattern you know our question paper contains four parts part a part b part c and part d part a is for one mark part b is for two mark part c is for three marks and part d is for five mark well this chapter okay now you'll have questions in part a as well as in part d in part a you'll get two questions whereas in part b you'll have one question for five marks we know five marks is divided okay as 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 2 plus 1 whereas from this chapter now no, five marks question is been divided as 3 plus 2 for three marks you will get one compulsory question that is nothing but derivation and for two marks you can expect a numerical and as far as your entrance exams are concerned like karnataka cet or neat or iit je you can expect a minimum of one question and a maximum of two questions from this chapter okay so guys let us start start this chapter now okay so please be ready with your pen and paper please make the notes of it okay so let us start now let us start uh, before starting into this chapter let us see what we have got to study in this chapter we have to understand three important concepts one is rate of reaction factors affecting rate of reaction and mechanism of the reaction i hope you have heard about these words uh, in your 11th standard as well but you might not be knowing the clear cut meaning of it so here i am to know to teach to teach okay these three important concepts in this chapter so guys let us begin this chapter now okay yes well let us begin with the most simple questions what is chemical kinetics why we have got to study this chapter what is the application of this chapter in our day to day life okay so what was my first question what is chemical kinetics what is chemical kinetics well what is ck ck is chemical kinetics what is chemical kinetics in 11th standard you have studied two chapters one is chemical thermodynamics again a most fabulous chapter which has got a wide applications in our day to day life the other one is an interesting chapter called as chemical equilibrium i hope you have studied these two chapters thoroughly in your 11th standard wherever we bring the concepts of 11th standard don't worry i'm going to teach you if you have not studied okay well this chapter chemical kinetics is just the continuation of chemical thermodynamics and chemical equilibrium then what are these two how are these two chapters connected to chemical kinetics how are these two chapters chemical thermodynamics and chemical equilibrium how are these two chapters connected to our chapter chemical kinetics so in order to understand this let me consider a general reaction a most 
a general reaction, a typical reaction, wherein A reacts with B to form the products. A reacts with B to form the products. Let us say this is a general reaction. Well, if I have to carry out a reaction, first of all, I want to have two reactants, A and B. Okay. When I mix the two reactants, the reaction should take place and there should be a for formation of the products. Now, my first question is, no doubt, I have two reactants. If I mix the two reactants, if I combine the two reactants, does the reaction take place? Does the reaction take place? Will there be any formation of products? In order to know whether the reaction takes place or not, we have to consider thermodynamics. We have to use thermodynamics. By using thermodynamics, by using the various aspects of thermodynamics, I can get to know whether this reaction takes place or not. I hope you have studied this. Okay. Uh, we have learned that chemical thermodynamics will talk about the feasibility of the reaction, isn't it? Okay. Chemical thermodynamics will talk about the feasibility of the reaction. What do you mean by feasibility of the reaction? Whether the reaction takes place or not. Okay. We explain the feasibility of the reaction. We using okay various aspects like enthalpy, isn't it? We have studied this. We have used the word enthalpy, entropy, and free energy. Using these terms, we have explained the feasibility of a reaction, isn't it, guys? Okay. So, what is the application of thermodynamics to this reaction? Thermodynamics will clearly explain us whether the reaction takes place or not. That means whether the reaction is feasible or not in terms of enthalpy, entropy and free energy. Okay. Now, what is the application of chemical equilibrium? Chemical equilibrium will explain the extent of the reaction, correct? What do you mean by the extent of the reaction? Okay. I have two reactants. How much of reactants will react to form how much of products? Okay. I am quantifying. I am quantifying, isn't it? How much of reactants react to form how much of products? How much of products? That is what I call the extent of the reaction. Whether the reaction takes place in the forward direction or whether the reaction takes place in backward reaction and whether the reaction attains equilibrium or not. All these things is explained in this chapter. Okay. I hope you know the, all these things. Correct? Okay. I summarize again. Chemical thermodynamics explains the feasibility of the reaction. That means whether the reaction takes place or not. Chemical equilibrium will explain the extent of the reaction. Okay. How much of reactants react to form how much of products. Whether the reaction takes place in forward direction or backward direction. And okay, whether the reaction attains equilibrium or not, all these things is being explained in this chapter. Just understand this. None of these two chapters, none of these two chapters are talking about the speed of the reaction. Is it correct? Now, either of these two chapters are talking about the speed of the reaction. This is just talking about the feasibility. This chapter is talking about the extent of the reaction. That's it. But neither of these two chapters are not talking about the speed of the reaction. Speed means how much time is required. How much time is required for the reactants to react and for, for the formation of the products. Okay. How much time is required okay, for this reaction to get completed. Okay. That is what I mean the speed of the reaction. So either thermodynamics or equilibrium is not talking about the speed of the reaction. In order to talk about the speed of the reaction, in order to know how much time is required for a reaction to get completed, we have introduced a new chapter and what is that chapter called as chemical kinetics. Here we are now. Here we are. So what is chemical kinetics is all about? Chemical kinetics is all about knowing the speed of the reaction. I hope it is clear. Okay. Chemical kinetics is all about knowing the speed of the reaction, not just the speed of the reaction, not just the speed of the reaction. We have so many things. Let us understand one by one. Okay. Are we clear? Yes. Chemical thermodynamics and chemical equilibrium will not explain the speed of the reaction. That is why we want to know the speed of the reaction. We will explain the speed of the reaction in this chapter. 
okay yes now uh, we have this the title of this chapter is using a word is using a word what is that kinetics correct yes the title of the word chapter comprises of the word known as kinetics i hope you keep hearing this word even in your physics okay we all know that physics is broadly classified into two main streams one as kinetics the other one as statics correct where kinetics deals with an object in motion am i correct kinetics deals with those objects which are in motion whereas statics deals with an object at rest isn't it okay kinetics deals with an object in motion whereas statics deals with an object at rest yeah in our chemistry also we are using the word kinetics we are using the word kinetics that means here also we are studying about something which is in motion we are also studying we are also dealing with something which is in motion what is in motion here a reaction is in motion if i consider this reaction a reacts with b to form the products don't you think that this reaction is in motion yes the reaction is moving the reaction is moving the reaction is moving from where to where the reaction is moving from reactant side to the product side the reaction is moving from okay the reactant side to the product side if this reaction is in motion are we not concerned about the duration of this reaction yes we must be concerned about the duration of this reaction that is what we going to learn in this beautiful chapter i hope it is clear now i hope it is clear okay now so let us try to answer this question what is chemical kinetics what is chemical kinetics okay let me consider one simple example of our day to day life okay what is that example let us say that two students a and b two students a and b they have to go from home to college home to college okay and where the distance from home to college is 10 kilometers student a is using activa whereas student b is using pulsar okay both of them have to go from home to college both of them should have to cover the same distance what is the distance 10 kilometers student a is using activa whereas student b is okay pulsar well if suppose student a covers this distance of 10 kilometers in 10 minutes whereas student b covers the same distance in 5 minutes now what is your comment student a who is going by activa covers 10 kilometers in 10 minutes whereas student b who is going in pulsar will cover the same distance in 5 minutes what is your comment on this scenario you will say that this is a relative concepts by the way i am comparing student a with student b and i am comparing student b with student a it's a relative concept okay and what is your comment on this you will just say that in comparison to b student a is slow isn't it student a is slow whereas student b is fast you'll say that student a is bit slow whereas student student a is bit slow whereas student b is fast isn't it why did you say this why did you say that student a is slow why did you say that student b is fast student a has taken 10 minutes for 10 kilometers student where student b has taken just 5 minutes okay to complete 10 kilometers to complete 10 kilometers 
so that is why you said a student a is slow student b is fast are we not talking about the speed of student a and student b yes we are talking about the speed of student a and student b and you said a is slow b is fast just not the speed you don't just comment on the speed of student a and student b you will also try to know you will also try to know why student a is slow whereas why student b is fast you will do you just end up the story by just telling that student a is slow and student b is fast no you will also try to explore why student a is slow and why student b is fast correct why he might be slow he might be slow because he might not be a good rider he might not be knowing how to ride the vehicle or, or else his activa might not be in a good condition the road in which he is traveling might have might be a full of potholes okay lot of there are lot of reasons there might be lot of reasons due to which okay a is slow and there might be lot of reasons due to which okay b is fast see here we are taking two important aspects we are talking about two important aspects we are commenting on two important aspects isn't it one is the speed the other one is the factors affecting the speed speed and the factors affecting the speed am i not correct the various reasons due to which a is slow and the various reasons due to which b is fast am i talk am i not talking about the factors affecting the speed yes speed and the factors affecting the speed what else what is your last comment what might be your last comment the last comment would be how a is going to ride his bike correct and how b is going to ride his bike that means the mechanism the mechanism okay so we 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 commented on three aspects here one is the speed of a and b the factors affecting the speed of a and b and the mechanism of the mechanism with which they ride their bike correct speed factors affecting the speed and the mechanism well let us correlate the same example by taking a general chemical reaction okay let us correlate let us relate the simple example to a reaction where a reacts with b to form the products okay well first question again okay if i have a reaction what is your first comment okay what is the time during which this reaction gets completed correct that means the speed of the reaction if the reaction is fast why the reaction is fast if the reaction is slow why the reaction is slow correct and the last aspect would be how the reactant a will react with b and how the reactant b will react with a so we are talking about the speed of the reaction factors affecting the speed of the reaction and the lastly mechanism of the reaction mechanism of the reaction speed of the reaction factors affecting the speed of the reaction and the mechanism of the reaction well in chemistry we don't use the term called as speed instead of speed we use the word rate of the reaction rate of the reaction understood okay one is don't use the word speed use rate of the reaction factors affecting the rate of the reaction mechanism of the reaction the study of these three things is called as chemical kinetics so what is chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is a branch of chemistry which deals with the rate of reaction factors affecting the rate of reaction and the mechanism of the reaction well guys let me stop this video here i'm going to come back for the next video so please be ready thank you